If you're a singer, you probably heard this already a thousand times that AI is gonna steal your job. But let me tell you, it's gonna take a whole while longer. Hi, I am Adisha, I'm a professional singer-songwriter and I'm here to debunk some of the theories that people have around AI right now. And I'm also gonna share some tips and tricks of all the ways that you can use AI to better your music or just make the process easier and faster for you. Now, here's the thing, AI isn't as smart as everybody says it is. The way AI vocals work is first they need to listen and analyze to a whole bunch of vocals from a certain singer and then you input your voice with your singing and then AI will replicate it. Now here's the thing, if you are a good singer, AI will also be a good singer when it sings with somebody else's voice. And if you're not, then I'm sorry to say this, but the AI vocals are also not gonna be a good singer. Because whatever you sing, whatever you input into the AI is exactly what you're gonna get back but with somebody else's voice. And who need vocalists? People that can't sing. Meaning, when they will input their voice into your AI vocals to get the song back with your singing, it's probably not gonna sound that good. Now you can also use this the reversed way. Somebody that doesn't sing that well could make an AI model of their voice and then input the vocals of somebody who can sing well and it will sound like they can sing insanely good. So the conclusion to this chapter is no, you're not gonna lose your job as a singer. And it's gonna take a long time until it gets there. Also, let's not forget about the fact that live singers will never be replaced. Can you imagine going to a concert and a robot performs for you? Technically, gorillas already do that, but they have been doing their own thing, so does it count? Another way you could use AI to your advantage is if you're doing songwriting slash ghostwriting for other artists. So let's say if you wrote a song for Rihanna, you have your voice on the song, but then you go and put Rihanna's AI voice in the song and then pitch it to her. Now let's talk about other ways that you could use AI to your own advantage. I personally have been using ChatGPT quite a lot, but not in a typical way, because usually if you tell it to write a song, it won't come up with the most genius stuff. 99.9% .9 of the time it will give you a cringy, cheesy love song, but it can be a great source of inspiration if you're writing tons of songs and you don't know what to write about anymore. So what you wanna do is have a conversation with ChatGPT ask it about song ideas on certain topics or ask it about song titles ask it to give you lists of metaphors rhymes and stuff that you can incorporate into your songs because it isn't the best at writing the song by itself you can usually get one or two good lines if you have a huge prompt describing the song in detail of what you want it to be if you're struggling to come up with melodies there is an AI for that. It will give you random melodies in certain keys. Then you can listen to one after the other until you find something that you like. If you are always using the same chords and want to try something new, there is an AI for that. One that will generate random chord progressions for you to try. Now, I'm personally disappointed that whoever decided to create AI was like, let's take the creative part from the humans and not the chores that we don't want to do. But right now it is what it is and we kind of just have to live with it and make the best that we can out of it. But AI will never be as good at creativity as humans are. Now, this is all I gotta say about AI for now. Make sure to check out my music and wish you all a great day.